a good friend of mine that's into electronics and I were talking one day and I was telling him about playing the old Atari 2600 that I've been collecting for for many years and told him about how much of a pain it was at my age, I'm about as old as the systems themselves, to sit on the floor, be tied so close to the television, especially with three small children around. Got talking about creating a pause circuit, and well, we found, of course, that Atari Age sells such a kit, and the schematics are available online and such, so uh, I took it a step up and asked him if there was any way we could uh, create a remote control system that, be that uh, is better than the old Atari sticks were that you could get back in the day that were RF. He came up with this based around a microcontroller, an infrared system. That uh, This is definitely our prototype. Um, it's based around a microcontroller and uh, is hardwired into the system. It's powered off of the uh, AC adapter for the machine. And of course this one's pretty ugly right now since it's a prototype. And it's got the pause circuit inside the case. I thought I'd demonstrate to you guys, see if there's any interest out there. I imagine there might be. We'd like to sell a few of them. We're talking about producing 50 to 100 units and sets along with instructions on how to modify the console. This is the prototype remote control unit. It's based around a PIC microprocessor and infrared technology used in television remote controls if I understand correctly. Uh, it's a power switch and it has a couple inputs for joysticks. It's not got paddle capabilities right now. This button controls the pause functionality a lot of the kits you can buy uh, require a toggle switch on the console. This one we just uh, use some circuitry in the board that causes it to demonstrate it here. Cause that pause circuit to do the process interrupt. We can push that button down. As you can see, nothing's attached to the Atari. And uh, that button stays down until you push it again. Comes back up. This is uh, the select button. It's wired straight into the select button on the console. This allows you to select different games just like uh, you would write at the console itself and finally this is the reset button to start your game now I'll try to do a demo of the game itself being played uh, show you that the controls are pretty good not bad at all compared to the fact that it's completely remote control it's pretty comical the uh, processor in the units uh, quite a bit faster than the processor in the Atari itself though I don't recall the specs right off I'll try to get those posted as soon as I can Let's give it a shot. 